What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be speaking of my experience with the H. pylori breath test that I had about two weeks ago. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever gotten uh, the, the, the breath test, you know, to test for H. pylori. Um, and in the past, I had been tested for H. pylori, but that was through an endoscopy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be getting a little bit into that as well. Cause I haven't felt, I, I felt like I haven't touched that um, in my YouTube channel as much. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. All right, so back in 2016, when my first issue started with regurgitation and acid reflux, I had to get an, an endoscopy, right? Because that's one of the first things you do, you know, mainly if you're having gastro issues. So during the endoscopy, they take a biopsy of uh, your stomach and uh, sometimes even your esophagus, I believe. So uh, once those results came back, it turned out that I had the H. pylori bacteria. Now, that was the first time that I was introduced to H. pylori. Uh, I, I didn't know what it was until then. It was up until then that I started doing my research on what it was. And, um, you know, I remember that when I had the results from my endoscopy, that there was like ulcers in my stomach. And um, when I was reading and doing my research, uh, I saw that, you know, the H. pylori kit could be a cause as to why you're having ulcers and stuff, right? So... Uh, once that happened, uh, I went back to, to the doctor and they gave me medication for two weeks. Now, I don't remember exactly uh, the name of the medications that I got, but uh, I know it was for two weeks and I think I was taking them uh, once in the morning and once at night. And I think there were different type of medications too during those two weeks, right? Um, obviously, I don't remember. It was such a long time ago. And at the time, I wasn't really paying attention much. I guess I was still na naive into the whole process and, you know, just listening to, you know, whatever the doctors were giving me. Uh, of course, I uh, I think, you know, there were antibiotics, um, if I'm not mistaken, to kill a bacteria. So um, that was that. Uh, afterwards, though, after I got tested um, uh, and, and took the antibiotics, uh, I came back. I let, they told me to wait a month and come back and, and get tested for the H. pylori. So when I came back though, instead of doing the endoscopy, what they did was they took a sample of my stool test. Uh, they call it a stool test. So they took a sample of my stool and I had to, um, I, I don't remember if I had to do it at home or at the clinic, but I know that, that I had to take a sample of, of my stool. And I think I, think I, I think I went to pick up the kit at the clinic. I think this is what happened. I think I went to pick up the kit at the kit at the clinic, went back home, uh, you know, obviously pooped in the little cup, you know, sealed it and everything, and then went back and returned it to the clinic and then got my results from then. So after I got my results, it turned out that I was negative for H. pylori. So that was that was that from then. So ever since then though, that was six years ago, um uh I haven't tested positive for H. pylori, right? And of course, because of my endoscopies that I've had, which I talked about in other videos, which was, uh, I think, maybe like four or five endoscopies after uh, the first one that I had, um, they took they take biopsies and none of them have tested uh, positive for H. pylori. So you know that's a, that's a it's a good thing. But also, I suffer from prostatitis issues. So when I've taken, you know, antibiotics, I'm not sure if that's actually killed. Like if I had a H. pylori at that moment, I'm not sure those antibiotics also killed uh, the H. pylori in my gut. So I'm not sure, but ever since then I haven't tested positive, um, which is a really good thing. Um, and then now let's talk about the, the breath test, right? So which, which is, you know, the, what the video is about. Um, so two weeks ago, uh, or about three weeks ago, actually, uh, I talked to my doc my doctor, um, you know, my wellness doctor. Uh, this is the doctor that works with me more with more natural supplements and stuff. Um, she told me that I needed to get a SIBO uh, breath test, right? 
but the test costs $299 because the insurance doesn't cover it. At least I know those type of doctors, when you go to natural medicine doctors, you know, to, uh, you know, Western medicine, um, Western medicine, um, how to say health insurance wouldn't cover it. Like, you know, if you were to go to a regular MD, it just doesn't cover it. Like my insurance doesn't, I have really good insurance too. And, uh, you know, they don't cover the, the, the SIBO stress test. I mean, the SIBO stress test, the SIBO breath test, right? So, um, she told me to go back to my, to my gastro doctor and my regular MD. And I talked to them about it and they were like, Hey, you know, are you referring to the H. pylori test? And I'm like, no, the doctor, the other doctor told me that it's a placebo breath test. Well, she was like, well, we don't do that. Right. And I was like, you know, man, well, that sucks. But then they were like, do you, would you still like to get tested for H. pylori, you know, just in case? And I was like, hmm, you know, I haven't gotten tested for that in a while. I've never done the breath test, which seems, you know, very simple. And I was like, you know what, let's do that. Let's set an appointment for that just to see, you know, if I have anything and I can bring that back to my other doctor as well. Um, and regarding the SIBO, the SIBO breath test, I am going to go through with it because I've never gotten tested for SIBO. Uh, and this is the first time that I will. I'm actually going to do it uh, this Friday. Um, and I'm going to go through when I'm also going to make a, a video, I guess, like, you know, I wouldn't say a live video, but like, you know, during the day and during the process of, 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 this of the test, and I'm, you know, I'm going to make a video of my experience with it. So stay tuned, stay, stay around because, uh, you know, a lot of good content is coming up. But anyways, um, so let's talk about the test. Um, I went in there, I got an appointment. I went in there. And they basically, it's, it's one of the, you know, simpler tests that I've done to, to, with all my gastro issues. It's very simple, right? They have two little separate bags. Uh, they have to blow in, blow air into, uh, the first bag they give you, they tell you to take a deep breath and, and hold it. And then they give you the bag and you blow into it, I guess, as hard as you can. Obviously, you know, nothing too crazy. Like if you were inflating a balloon, kind of, right? Just with a little bit more strength so the back can feel the back feels really quickly um and then she uh i don't know if this was a nurse at the time or uh whoever was doing the 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 test for me close it up put it aside and then she gave me a mix of uh a drink some people she told me that some people said it tasted like lemonade but to be honest it just tastes very acidic and for someone that suffers from GERD and acid reflux and regurgitation homie, it was just, it was like death. You know what I mean? It was, it tasted really acidic. I wouldn't say nothing like lemonade. I know it was more along the lines of like a lime taste, but the acidic was just, the acidic taste was just really, really strong. Um, you know, they, uh, she told me to, to, to take it through a straw in a little cup. I drank it all, you know, cause I'm a trooper. Um, and after, right after that, she told me to wait for about 15 minutes outside and then come back in and and do the, the second bag, right? So I went outside and when I was outside, I could feel the acid, you know, I can feel the, the acidic still lingering around and I could just feel my acid reflux get worse because it was just really, 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 like it was strong, man. Um, I let those 15 minutes get, get um, passed by. She called me back in and then she told me to cut come in and, and do the same thing, same process, right? Take a deep breath and then blow it into the bag. Well, this is a separate bag, a second bag. And I believe this was a blue bag, right? I, I think the first one was a white bag. Uh, and then the second one was like a blue bag. Um, obviously, there's something that's going on with the mixture uh, after you drink it to see if you have, uh, you know, um, to see if you have the H. pylori when you breathe into the bags. I'm not sure exactly how the process really works on their end because, you know, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't, I don't know exactly what they're doing on their end. But from my experience, um, that was a, a very, very simple test. And, I, and then she told me that, you know, she was like, we're, we're done here. And I was like, we're done. That's it. And I was like, all right, cool. So I did what I had to do. Uh, uh, she took those bags and I think I got my results like within the next day or so, maybe a day or two. So it was really, really fast. Uh, I got my my results through through my through my chart uh I logged into my account checked my results and it turned out that the, that it's negative right so i'm glad it's negative i don't have h pylori but now we have to see what the SIBO test has in store for me uh hopefully 
you know, if there's something we can take care of it and we'll move forward from there. Right. So we'll see what happens then, at least for H. pylori again. I'm not sure. I recently took um, uh, antibiotics because of my prostate and I even made a video on it. Um, so we'll see. If, I, I, well, I should say, I don't know if like the the medication or the antibiotics that I take for my prostatitis kill the bacteria for H. pylori or there has to be a separate medication for it. Uh, I'm assuming there is another medication. So, um, so ever since the first time that I tested positive for H. pylori, I've never tested positive again so far. So, you know, knock on wood and stays like that because uh, suffering from bacteria and all that, man, it just, it just, it just sucks. It makes everything worse in, in the gastro area. Um, and, you know, I don't want that. So, um, so that's about it. My experience really quick is a quick uh, video. I know I talked a lot about other, about other experience, but just want you guys to get, you know, to get filled in on everything that's going on and everything that has happened up to this date. So you won't get lost and maybe you won't have to go back to like prior videos to see, you know, what happened. Uh, that's the reason I make my, my videos come out a little bit longer than they should, but just trying to give you guys the most information that I can. So, um, thank you guys always for showing a lot of support for showing a lot of love. It really means a lot. Uh, in, in my, you know, in my, to my channel, to me, uh, you guys keep me going every day. Uh, it, it's really a beautiful process that I'm going through. And, and, you know, thank you for all the love that I get for all the subscribers, all the likes, you know, the shares that I get. And if you ever, you know, want to talk to me, especially live, I go live on, on the weekends, you know, hit the notification button. So hopefully you get uh, notified when, when the video, new videos come up or when I go live, so you can interact with me. Uh, and also you can add me on socials um there in the description link below so again thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video as always take care of yourself um and god bless you guys see you on the next one Deuces.